week's episode of Culture Makers. That's our new jingle. That's our new jingle. And it's we're got a little see. bit of a ringle and a tingle, tingle in your bones. This is Riley. Hi. And I'm James. <laughs> This is Riley, and I'm James. So here's what we're talking about today. We're talking all things Conor McGregor, Dear Evan Hansen, acne, and how do you start over when things don't start so great? Are you ready? To rumble. Bum, bum, Conor bum. McGregor. Who Speaking is Conor McGregor? Of being ready to rumble. Conor McGregor. Conor That's, McGregor. I just made that transition. Thanks for stealing it. Went to throw the opening pitch at a game. And okay. if this was football, we would have called it a fumble. But the thing about Conor McGregor is he's not a football player or a baseball player. He is a mixed martial arts fighter, mm -hmm. uh, one of the greatest of all time. Mm. But sadly, he got a little bit out of his lane mm. through this pitch that is uh, making its way around the internet because of how bad it was. Um, and a lot of people are laughing at his expense. I, I did. Laugh at Many his expense. laughs. Okay, great. But also, I, I came mean, to that him. is what the Bible says. It says laugh at other people's expense. No, no it says like literally the opposite. And, yep. And, and but I did come to his defense because the thing is, is I did mixed martial arts, so jujitsu, Muay Thai, you I did? wrestled, I did all those things. And the thing about mixed martial arts people okay. is we typically are not very good at like regular sport athletic things. Okay, I am also in this boat of, I used to do gymnastics okay. and that's because I was really great at gymnastics, really bad yeah, sure, at sure. any other. I said, sure, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> really bad at any other sport that involved like a ball of any kind. Right. So like soccer, I, I tried it all. I tried soccer, I tried softball, I tried basketball. Like mm -hmm. I did all of them for one season each because my, my dad would never let me quit in the middle Come of the on. season. Come on, that's He's discipline, like, finish. Yes. grit, resilience. Yes, so I wasted a lot of years of my life trying those. Don't things. quit, have grit. That's good. Anyways, back to Conor McGregor. <laughs> so all this being said, I came to his defense because I was a similar way. Okay. Where it's yeah. like when it comes to running high. Yeah. Nope, not running high. Running fast, jumping high. <laughs> running throwing, high, jumping fast. <laughs> or throwing or, or throwing. catching things. Can't do it. Uh, if you can't tell I have glasses, I have really poor depth perception. And so when I attempted to play football, my nickname was Brick Hands because I could not see the ball coming. And I'd just throw my hands up and hope that they were in the right place. So the ball would hit, it would fall, That's it awesome. was embarrassing. So all that being said, Conor McGregor, stay in your lane. The rest of us, we laugh a little bit, but we gotta remember, he's a human being. Made in the image of God, deserving of dignity, love, and respect, even when he does things. A little bit ridiculous. Sorry, Thing number mind. two, it's here. We're singing because recently, an incredible Broadway musical just hit the theaters. Yes. Titled, Dear, Dear Evan, Evan Hansen. Oh. All right, <laughs> dear Evan Hansen. So good. So you are a big fan. Big fan. Tell us. Okay, so here's the deal: is my friend actually introduced it to me this like past summer? Oh. And she has been listening to it since high school. Whoa. We've never seen the Broadway like production, and she found the soundtrack, fell in love with it. Well, if you've ever heard the soundtrack and you didn't know the plot, <laughs> it's like very confusing. It's, so, it's like yeah. so much is going on here, like, and you have you no get, idea. If all you listen to the soundtrack, you're like, oh, this is a really great story. Then you watch the actual movie and, and like, you're like, oh my gosh, what is going on? So we were driving on the way to Miami and we had like a long drive ahead of us. So I did some deep YouTube researching to find a video, which this is not, you're not allowed to do this. No, you're not allowed to do um, this. Somebody who recorded the Broadway musical on what I'm pretty sure is a like camcorder from like 2004. Like yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. the worst quality ever. And it's like a video of the production. But the funny thing is you watch the whole thing. We watched the whole thing on YouTube and it's got like- Time I out. You watched the entire thing on YouTube while you were driving? I wasn't driving. Okay. So you watched it, she listened? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Important clarification, kids. Be yes, safe. Yes, they're recording the Broadway production and every once in a while you just see, so it's like filming right here. Every once in a while you see, <laughs> it's just black <laughs> and you just hear it. But then every once in a while it comes back up. What's funny is my wife did the same thing you did and I'm pretty sure she found the same YouTube video. Yes! <laughs> yes. I Mandy. Because she watched the whole thing on YouTube. She's been all about it. It's so good! But they just released a movie about it and they crushed it. They did get rid of one of my favorite songs at the very beginning. And they Which added one? the, one the, the Anybody moms? Find a Map? Yeah, the moms. Okay. And then um, they added some 
song that you I... You didn't like the new song? I no, here's why I don't like the song. Because if you've watched this movie and you know anything about the Broadway production, is that character, that what's her name, Avena or Avana or whatever? Alana. Alana. In the Broadway production or whatever, she's so unlikable. Like, they do that on purpose. She's just supposed to be like this student body president who's like really annoying and doesn't care that like yeah, yeah. what she does affects other people. Like, she's just out for like... I'm just trying to be an achiever, just trying to make it about me. Right, right. And so you don't like her through the whole Broadway thing. Interesting. And they add that song to make her like more dynamic and like more likable. And right. like she's got like, I don't know, depth to her, which is great for her. But Yeah, shouldn't. but the true thing to life, all of us have depth. We all have a story. And the more you get to know somebody's story, the easier it is to have compassion for them. Oh, that's so true. Yeah, no, it is. I know. Abe Lincoln said um, something like... <laughs> Abe Lincoln? Okay, Riley, school us. We're talking about the Evan Hansen now. We're talking about history, Abe. Abe Lincoln, Abe. Abe Lincoln said, said <laughs> if you ever, if you ever, um, he didn't say it this way. I don't know the exact quote, but it's something like, I don't like that guy. I must get to know him better. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I, see wrote you. It, I, I see you, honest Abe. I wrote that down on like the cover of my Bible in middle school because I thought it was so good. Wow. It's, it's ironic an Abe Lincoln quote. that you put an Abe Lincoln quote on the inside cover of your Bible. You know, because inside your Bible are all these great sayings from Jesus. But whatever. And right up there with him. Abe okay, Lincoln. so. <laughs> Man of God. Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> Riley saw it, she's a huge fan. I saw it, I'm also a big fan. The movie was a really great time. It tells, I think, a super powerful message, yeah. but also it tells it in a way that I think will shock you, surprise you, and unsettle you yeah. in ways that hopefully will lead us to question why we do what we do. Yeah. Because I think one of the really powerful parts about this movie is the fact that you see this character who is doing what seems to be really good things, yeah. but for a lot of the wrong reasons. Mm. And eventually what happens is it all kind of blows up. Yeah. And there's a lot of heartbreak and, you know, kind of um, fallout that comes right. from it. But all that being said, we're fans of it. Now there's some language and things like that that yeah. we don't probably aren't, yeah. aren't the biggest fans of. No. We don't agree with everything in the movie because we don't agree with everything in just about any movie. Right. But it's one of those things where if you use wisdom and discernment, it might be worth checking out. Yeah. Speaking of music, we've got something new. And it's a... Better View. Better View, the new Switch EP is out on Spotify, Apple Music, all the places that you listen. Go check it out. It's Give just some good. A better View. A better, so view, better, better view. Sounds just like We're that. on it. Yeah, we are the singers. We are Switch Music. Just kidding, that's not true. The people that are actually singing those songs are way more talented than we are. But it's a great, positive, life giving biblically based music that you can listen to in your downtime. It's and really uh, good. I personally really like it. I think it's good car ride music. Ooh, like good, yeah, yeah. good car ride, but yes. glorifying the Lord, but Come like on. jamming a little, like, just, like chill, like roll down the windows, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just to be clear, you know, we are Switch the Ministry, yes. students with intentions towards Christ That is holiness. not what we stand <laughs> They for. are Switch the Band, singers with intentions towards no, Christ holiness. No, you made that up. Don't, don't no. Hey, comment down below if you've listened to the new EP, Better View, and then let us know what you think and what your favorite song is. What was your favorite is. song? Yeah, I was going to say that. All that being said, Better View, it's great. And when you're driving with the windows down, hopefully where you are, it's starting to get cool. Fall weather. Yes. Speaking of fall weather, fall has officially started. It has arrived. Back last week. And it so now here. that we're here in the fall, here's my question, Riley. What is your favorite thing about the fall? And while she's preparing to answer that question, y'all let us know what's your favorite thing about fall down below. Riley, go. I actually, I'm a big summer gal. Oh, okay. Big summer gal. So yeah. I spend a good portion of my September in denial that it's fall. Oh. And then I hit this one point where it's like, all right, I, I succeed. Is that the right word? I succeed? I succeed? Yeah, succeed. Oh, succeed. I succeed? Like you succeed, succeed. from the union? Like the <laughs> I South I don't know. Did? I give up. I give up. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, you give up. I'm just like, <laughs> it's fall now. Okay, it's fall. <laughs> we experienced here in Oklahoma really, really great weather this last week. And yeah, it's like, if it, it could have stayed there for the forever. rest of forever. Literally forever. Yeah, I'd be happy. <laughs> but I know it's going to get colder. But anyways, love the fall outfits. And I really, really love like pumpkin flavored things. Super basic. Yeah, I knew you were gonna yeah, say that. I know. Cause she's super basic. Okay, cool. So what is your favorite thing about fall? Make sure to let us know. It's also spooky season. Oh, okay, spooky season? Spooky season. Is anything else you wanna say about spooky season? Well, we talked about it on Switch Online, but oh. I am going to introduce Vince to some spooky scenes 
Mm-hmm. Oh. We started off by saying like, we're gonna watch a scary movie, but we figured it'd be more fun if I just find all of the scariest clips from my favorite scary movies. Oh, wow. And then just spook Shut Vince. to him. That's so, good. Yeah. Fantastic. Keep on the lookout for that. All right, Switch Online, mm. which yep. takes place every week. Mm-hmm. You can watch the premiere of Switch Online on Wednesday nights at uh, Switch Online, or you can watch it here on YouTube yeah. on Sunday mornings. So yeah. make sure you're tuned in to Switch Online. Now, we wanna talk about two questions from y'all. Question number one, hey, how do you deal with acne? I am so passionate about this topic oh. because I had horrible acne in high school. Okay. Horrible. I have like the, some intense pictures. I actually worked at a spa in high school. You Just, worked at a spa? Uh-huh. Dang, okay, spa. let's go. I was a receptionist at a spa. I was like kind of their guinea pig of like they were trying to like cure my <laughs> acne. I was open to it. But anyways, so I just wanted to say I'm currently breaking out right now. If you want to zoom in, you can. You don't have to though. Oh, wow. <laughs> just, that, you just I'm confident. Listen, right here. your value doesn't come from the acne on your face. No. But it comes from the fact that you've received God's grace. Absolutely. Some of y'all, you need a better view. You need oh to learn God. to see you the way that okay. God sees but you. Come real. on. But for real. Acne. If you're struggling with acne, just know you're not alone. I think I remember feeling like everybody, like it's just everywhere you look, it's like everybody's got perfect skin and you're like, oh, why does my face look the way that it does? But A, you're your biggest critic. I promise Ooh, you, on. nobody's like fixated on your face like that of yep. like, I I see that one pimple that came up, you know, right there or whatever. Be like, it doesn't define who you are. Come like, on. What you what you look like in general doesn't define who you are. Um, who you are is who God's created you to be Come and your on. identity in Christ. And Absolutely. so um, I know that that doesn't make it easier to, um, when you're dealing with your acne of like trying to like cure it, but just remind yourself that right. that's not like, whether or not you have acne, whether or not you don't have acne, if you grow out of it, if you don't grow out of it, it doesn't change anything about who you are or where you should find your identity. Um, but as far as like curing acne, the best thing for me was just finding good products that like were didn't have like junk in it. So look at the back of your skincare products and make mm. sure there's not fragrance in that stuff. But now I use like CeraVe and that's like really popular. Anyways, yep. so about that. just little tips for you because currently breaking out and I'm not even wearing makeup over it because I don't care. Come on, and confident in who she is. Yes, confident in Christ. Let's go. CIC. Oh, I never got like a huge breakout of acne. I would always just get one giant pimple at mm. a time. That would be freaking Mount Vesuvius, typically right on the Did tip of my Did you ever try nose. like toothpaste? Have you oh, heard that's no. a thing? Uh-uh. I've heard that if you put toothpaste on a, a pimple, that it'll dry it out. Oh, interesting. I, d- I used to do it. I just know that I used to get called Rudolph. <laughs> because used I to? Because I still get the pimples like every once in a while. And it's the worst <laughs> feeling when, I'm, when I know I got to record some videos. <laughs> You're like, oh, I And crap. I got this freaking pimple that everybody's looking at. And I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But remember, not everybody's looking at it. And I'm not like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And I'm also not- I'm not Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Wow. And I'm also not Pinocchio with my nose continuing to grow. I'm a real boy. Moving on to the last question. Riley. Yes. We're about a month or so, month and a half-ish, into the school year. Yes. And for most of us, you know, we've, we've, we've got some time under us. Some of us feel pretty good about the start that we've had. Others of us maybe feel not quite so good. We were hoping to have a really great year and things mm-hmm. haven't looked the way that we wanted them to. So here's the question that some people are asking. Okay. How do we at this point start over Mm. when we feel like our first start didn't go so well? Mm, What a good question. I think it's very like easy in so many ways to kind of get in the like the routine of school and feel like, oh no, I messed up. Like I'm way off of track with my homework. (laughs) I'm way off of track with my friends. I'm making myself too busy. And you're just like, it's I'm too far in. It's September and I can't go back. And just a reminder that like every day is a new, like fresh start and you can walk in a new way today. You don't have to wait till Monday. I love Mondays because they do, they do start like the new week, but you don't have to wait till Monday. It's not like, ah, it's Monday and I already like forgot to study (laughs) for my test. Might as well just keep riding this train. Right, so I'll I'll start studying next Monday. (laughs) Every day is a brand new day to start over and to just say, okay, today I'm gonna, and start small, start small when you're Mm, starting over. That's good. I'm just like, today, what my focus is, is I'm going to set aside an hour so I can work on this class or whatever. I have this problem of like, I'm all or nothing in a lot of ways. And so it's like, I am going to start working out, start eating healthy, spend two hours of alone time with God and like all this stuff all yeah. at once and I crash and burn. I right. might be able to do the first day really great. Sure. And I'm like, oh yeah. But you can't keep that up because no. it's too big. Well, it, it's funny because you talked about like that idea of like starting small. I remember in high school, I had to 
like come up with these weird games to yeah. actually get me to study because it Ooh. was just so dreadful to me. Yeah. And so sometimes what I would do is I would do like, all right, if I lost a match in Call of Duty, yeah. I would have to study for 10 minutes. Ooh. And so then it like made me want to play extra good because it's like if I went on a win streak, I could go like, you know, five, six games without having to study, then I'd lose. And it's like, okay, cool. Got to set the controller down, yeah. study for 10 minutes. Yeah. And that was like some of the things I have to do. Like now as a grown man, sometimes what I do is like, all right, after this show, yeah. I'm gonna clean for 15 minutes. Yeah. And, like, I'll, and I'll just like, I'll make it really short. It's yes. be like that, five, 15 minutes, right. set a timer, just go. Yes. Because those bite-sized chunks are a lot easier for me. Yes. And, and I like what you said about the idea that every day is a new day. Mm -hmm. Every day is a fresh start. So don't wait until Monday, start something new today. Because yes. the heart of the Christian faith is about new beginnings. Mm -hmm. It's because of Jesus, because of the grace that he's offered us, because of his death and resurrection on the cross, mm. there is nothing in our past that can continue to define us. Instead, we are defined by his sacrificial death mm. and he invites us into the new life that he offers. And so wow. whatever it is that you might be wanting to start over, know that a fresh start is available and God wants to work with you mm. in actually stepping into it. You thought we were just talking about school, but we got the gospel in here. Everything's about the gospel. That's, That's it anymore. for this week's episode of Culture Makers. If you have questions, leave them down below. Let us know what you're thinking about, what you want us to talk about, because we love being in dialogue with you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody that you know that needs a little bit of a pick-me-up on a Tuesday. Mm. Peace out.